I was always interested in music and felt that social historians tended to leave music to one side. Nobody had ever tried to work out what were the hit songs, kind of top of the pops for the 17th century. We're trying to identify a top 100 ballads from 17th century England. Historians and literary scholars have tended to view these songs as silent texts. And so what we've been doing is bringing, trying to bring these back to life as songs to make the point that every one of these was, it was intended for singing. Both men and women listen well, a merry jest I will you they were, they were sung at the point of sale by a ballad singer standing in a, in a, in a marketplace and singing out the song so that people, a crowd would gather and then they would buy, buy sheets off him. People then took them home, pinned them up, sung them for, the, for themselves at, at home. This is pop music at its roots really. 17th century pop, you, you not only have love songs, but you have religious songs. There's some quite serious moral tales and historical songs, and then there are lots of political songs as well. One example of a, a very kind of lively, humorous ballad is The Woman to the Plough and The Man to the Hen Roost. That's basically a story about a husband and, and a wife who have an argument, decide that they're going to swap roles. To cart and plough the good wife goes, the good man he at home doth tarry to see that nothing doth... Predictably it. enough, they, they mess everything up, everything goes horribly wrong, and, the, and then the moral of the story at the end is things should be the way they're, they're organised. I've been working with a group of musicians from the Carnival Band to make recordings and the, the, the main sort of product of the project will be a, a website which will have digital images of all the ballads, brand new recordings of, of the ballads and then quite a lot of sort of editorial information as well. This fearful fire up to his knees did rise, burning blue like brimstone in most outrageous wise. The musicians of the Carnival Band and other singers who've been involved have already started using these songs in concerts that they're giving. I, I would hope that this will prick people's curiosity about you know, the origins of, of, of the pop industry, about the sort of things that were popular at the time. So connecting kind of what people are familiar with now with what might have been the, you know, the, the parallels, similarities and, and the differences in the, in the 17th century.